Admit to me that you never knew that until <laughs> Chris, I don't choose the subjects you do, pal. <laughs> I'm almost upset that we're going to have to do this because okay. you guys are about to take on the toughest quiz in radio. Now, yeah, we usually, know. I would be doing the Mega Hard Super Quiz, but as it's Friday and as you guys are here, we are going to be doing the Mega Hard Super Specialist Quiz. Have you heard okay. of this before? Who hasn't? Who yeah. hasn't? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. exactly. That's a great answer already. Right, so you have been able to choose your own specialist subject. What is it yeah. that you guys yeah, yeah. have chosen? Uh, we took a long time to deliberate on this, mm -hmm. but Johnny... Capital cities. Capital of the world. cities. Of the, only of the world. Of the, of the world, world, nowhere else. <laughs> oh, okay. that makes it easier. Yes. Well, look, it, it makes sense. You guys have toured everywhere around the world, so we're going to put that to the test. That is a good point. Roman's mega hard super quiz. Lads, the rules are simple. You're about to face five questions of increasing <laughs> difficulty. You must answer you as quickly kidding. as possible. If you get it correct, you move on to the next round. If you get it wrong, do you have any idea what happens? I, I don't, I'm scared to know. You perish in embarrassment, boys. You okay. perish in embarrassment. Okay. okay. Right. Are you ready for round one? Yes, sir. Yeah. Here yeah. we Come go. On. Round one. Round one. Guys. On your A Head Full of Dreams tour, you started and finished in Argentina. But what I want to know, what is the capital city of Argentina? You want it? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's uh, Buenos Aires. Round two. Yes. 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 Well on. done. Good start. A shaky start. Shaky <laughs> what do we win? <laughs> oh, you just you wait, Chris. Just you wait. It gets okay. even better. The best thing okay. is, you never will win. No one ever does win. <laughs> okay, that's my kind of quiz. Keep going. <laughs> Round two. Chris, you were born... Is it Whitestone or Whitstone? Uh, it doesn't matter. You can. You were born you in like. Devon. I was born in Devon, yeah. You were or born Devon. in Devon. Or Devon, yeah. <laughs> or Devon. Um, but yeah. what I want to know, as the crow flies, what is the closest capital city to Devon? Dublin or London or, or Paris Cardiff. or Cardiff. 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 You're going with Cardiff. Yes, there was are. a little bit of deliberation there. Johnny, you... Teamwork. Round three. You saved yeah, him there, man. What did we win? Johnny saved it. you got to get five, Chris. you got to get five. Round three. In 2011, Coldplay released a song with Rihanna called The Princess of China. But what I want to know, historically, how many great ancient capital cities of China are there? <laughs> oh, this is an easy one. <laughs> uh, of course. The, the, Take a the, guess. Uh, I'm going to go with loads. <laughs> well, yeah. I'll, I'll give you one clue. It's between one and five. Um, three. You have failed. Oh, we haven't even answered yet. We were still deliberating. You said Listen. three. <laughs> I've we, had to go we, with three. three. What was it? Chris, what would you have said? I would have said four. It is four. Oh. I'm afraid, Johnny, set you down there. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I can we're confirm gonna... it was Beijing, Xi'an, Liu Wang, and Nanjing. Admit to me that you never knew that until <laughs> <laughs> Chris, I don't choose the subjects you do, pal. <laughs> Coldplay songs, they, they hold such a special meaning to so many people and sometimes those people are other artists, other huge artists and you get so many people covering your songs Who has been your favourite cover that you've seen? Well, the truth is, Roman, I don't know how Johnny feels I, I can't listen to our songs even if someone else is singing them What? I, it just makes me feel, it's like, I don't know like hearing yourself on the answering machine or something like that <laughs> I don't know what it is. Really? Or I feel like, oh, oh, the song should have been better. It, may, it brings up all sorts of insecurities. Okay. But of the ones I've seen, I mean, um, I know BTS did a song called Fix You quite recently, which is great. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Willie Nelson did The Scientist. Willie Nelson did The Scientist. That's cool. Like, that is cool. The fact that you've... Th this, this shows exactly what I'm saying, is that your songs hold a special place to a lot of people, that you've gone from BTS to Willie Nelson. Well, they're both great in different ways. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. You, you touch many people's hearts.
There's been a lot oh. of rumours flying around. You must have seen about um, you guys teaming up with BTS. Um, Eagle Eyed fans spotted you, Chris, in, in South Korea. So now there's this whole rumour of a collaboration. We've seen some cryptic posters as well popping up mm. near bus stops and underground. Come right. on, lads, what's going on? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. We don't get, we don't get told anything. You don't get told anything. We're just in the band for our looks. We don't make any decisions. <laughs> No, of course not. Hey, don't, Chris. It's how we got our jobs. Don't say that. Yeah, <laughs> With all this lockdown, you've had a lot of time on your hands. Very creative guys, obviously, even when most of us have just been binging Netflix. So will there be a new album? Can we expect anything like that coming from you guys? <laughs> We're not supposed to say, but there won't not be one. Yeah, oh, we've, we've, OK. We've recorded more than one song. Yeah. I you... think if we'd spent the whole of this time just doing one song, we would be... <laughs> <laughs> but what a song it'd be. What a song yeah. it would be, though. <laughs> Two hours long. We're just saving some announcements. There might not, 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 not be a. There might not, not be a, not a non-album. <laughs> Do you know what's going to be you. worse, Chris? Is that you're going to you're going to say that all the knots and the knots, and then the fans will do the maths <laughs> yes. in terms of exactly which knot preceded the not knot, and, and then they'll figure out that there's no album. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but one of them was one of them was not with a K. Oh, I see. I see. Mm. Really so, tying things up. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, got you. I was researching some interesting facts, and I actually found out: is it true that your first song ever was about deodorant? Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's that's accurate. Can I ask about that? Why Why was that? At the time, I was uh, not. I, I wasn't sure how to access certain feelings. So I was singing more about things that were in the room. Right. <laughs> oh, I've got you. Sing what you see. Sing what you see. <laughs> and then and then over time I was like, you know what, maybe I'll sing about, you know, other things. Because I've run out of household appliances. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, the follow-up to deodorant, antiperspirant, was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> you say you've been, like, rehearsing. Is this for this... Um, we've heard that you're doing part of Glastonbury's Live at Worthy Farm live stream. Uh, this is something yes. that I've heard you're getting involved in. Mm -hmm. What can we actually expect from that? Because as Roman said, you know, you guys are the arena guys. Uh, will you be actually on a stage? Because it's, it's obviously over the internet. <clears throat> Uh, we're gonna go and play at Glastonbury. Yes, we're oh, gonna okay. recreate our we're gonna recreate our first show there. <gasps> by which I mean, no one's gonna come and watch. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so I, I don't think we are gonna play. On, so I think we're gonna play on the grass. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you know anything about it? I think I think it's in the Glastonbury area. In, I think in it a is. Field. Yeah. Yeah. So it's more it's more aimed towards a bovine audience. <laughs> this particular show. <laughs> uh, hey, I've heard cows love a bit of music. Yep, that's what I heard too. We're hoping so, because otherwise we're going to be really unpopular down there. <laughs> we did uh, see as well, you, you've recently been asking your Twitter followers to to, to give the what are o's uh, of, what uh, o's, yeah. of, mm -hmm. of Viva La Vida. Yes, we did. So, that's I that, mean, you're, you're right. I was more shocked that it wasn't... <laughs> which, yeah. which, I mean, which is the hardest for you to actually push out? I, I don't know. I think... Um, all those bits are like bridges between us and an audience. Right. So that I don't find any of them hard. They're, they're, it's, it's almost like a like shaking everyone's hand, if that makes any sense at all. Okay, yeah, I, I kind of see It's how saying, I yeah. feel like, oh, we're all one band together. That's, yeah. Which we like that feeling. It's like yeah. a vocal Mexican wave. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>